Hello and welcome to the garden. Just a quick video today. I thought I'd take a look at the strawberry bed. So in an earlier video this year, I planted up two beds here with strawberry plants, which I'd taken from some I had here last season, some that were in pots and I put those pots in one of the other beds and pegged down all the runners. And then the rest came from just six plants of the garaget and they produced not a lot of fruit, but an abundance of runners. And I took those and planted up these beds. So I've got half with garagets and the other half is Malling Centenary. So whereas I typically like to grow old varieties in my garden here, the strawberries, of course, all the old varieties are gone thanks to virus, very susceptible to virus. If you keep some strawberry plants growing for some years in your own garden, you'll quickly notice, typically, that productivity drops and those plants become less and less useful, even if you're propagating through runners. Now, commercially you can propagate strawberries in such a way that virus isn't transmitted and so you can get virus free stock so it's always a good idea um, to look when you're putting in a new planting to look for fresh stock that is certified virus free that's not possible if you're shipping them from garden to garden so for the strawberries I, I'd never take a plant from somebody else's garden and and use it here because you never know what you introduce with plants always it's always easier to keep problems out of your garden than to deal with them once they're here and strawberries are quite susceptible to virus anyway those half a dozen plants have produced an abundance of garagets and then i've got the malling centenary that's a modern variety relatively modern but it's a good one. Uh, it's got some of those typical properties of uh, commercial strawberries. So, so that's one that you can find in the supermarkets. It's quite firm and that's dead handy for commercial growers because the strawberry is one of those fruits that doesn't ripen after it's been picked. So lots of fruits ripen, continue to ripen after being picked. Pears are a great example. Those you want to harvest before they're actually ripe, once they're mature, but before ripeness, because if they ripen on the tree, they're a bit rubbish. And tomatoes, that's another one. As long as you get them sort of on the turn, once they're mature and they've just started that process of ripening, even if you can't see it on the outside, as long as you've got it just far enough along, then they will ripen happily off the vine but strawberries cherries are another one those fruits they don't ripen after picking that means that if you want a nice ripe strawberry from a commercial grower it, it's best if it's a firm fleshed sort because otherwise it's going to be battered and bruised by the time you get it so for a home variety that firmness isn't necessary and perhaps it isn't desirable. Nonetheless, I reckon Malling Centenary has pretty good flavor and I'm happy to grow it at the moment anyway. What happens when I finish with these plants? Who knows? I can propagate from these a few times, but always keeping an eye on it to see when, when the plants start to decline. And if I see that, then getting rid of them and scrapping them. So, the plants are doing quite well. When they went in, they were pretty good looking runners, but I did get them in a little bit late. So I think they, sh they should crop much better next, next year. But nonetheless, we've got some fruit here. So I think it's time for me to pick the first crop. Now, both of these are early varieties. The Garaget is early. Uh, Malling Centenary is not quite as early as the Garaget, I think, but, but it's close. So I think I've got more ripe Garagets, but I can see that there's one or two of the 
Malang Centenary that are ripe already as well. Now the Garagets, they tend to be slightly smaller strawberries, but we'll have a look, see what we've got. We pop these covers on to keep the birds away. Oh, that one's not quite right. I'm not expecting a huge harvest. This is the first crop, so. But these are definitely garagets, and, and I've been searching for the garagets. You'll know that if you've seen some of my previous videos. I've been struggling to find real garagets, but it does look as though I've got the right sort of thing now. And I'm very pleased with that. There are some distinctive features of the garagette, and I'll show you what they are, how I can be fairly confident that these are the right sort now. I'm only taking it if it's fully ripe. I don't want half ripe strawberries. So we, we got these covered at the weekend, but I also put set down some straw in the traditional way. You don't have to do that. Um, planting through membranes, not bad actually, or, or through plastic, but keeping the, the berries off of the, the dirt, that does help. It tends to keep them in better condition, get a little bit less damage that way. And straw, of course, is the traditional way of doing it. I mean, commercially, they're often planted, I think, through, through membrane but, or plastic film. But straw's quite nice. And you don't actually have to get rid of the straw. It will decompose there. It's funny, it's a lovely sunny day and they are, they're warm to the touch. <laughs> No, not yet. Well, that's not bad for a first picking. There will be many more to come, of course, but for the first little harvest, I'm very happy with that. They're surprisingly large, actually. The garagets aren't normally a particularly large strawberry. Um, where's the Manning Centenary? I've got just the one of those. It's, it's a nice fruit, but it's, I mean, it's a good, it's a good size, but this is a classic shape of a garagette. And that's what I've been looking for. And it's from this classic shape that I know that some of the previous supposed garagettes that I've had here have not been right. Now I grew this many years ago in our previous fruit cage. And when we removed that, I lost those plants. I then replaced them with new stock, which was not the right variety. I did that a couple of times before I found from RV Roger the correct plants. Now, it's slightly smaller than the Malling Centenary. This is about typical size for a garagat. I know some of those I've picked today appear to be bigger. I don't know why. Maybe the plants are happy here. Let's hope so. But it is either conical like this one, or then it's um, slightly chisel shaped. But, but that's the sort of proportion. So quite long and slender, the fruit. And then we come to the most distinctive feature, these really high shoulders where the, the calyx here is sitting very high up on the fruit. And you've got this, this shoulder there. It's dead handy for the preparation. You can just nip that off across there, lovely. Um, let me have a little taste and we'll see, see how that goes. Hmm. It's absolutely delicious. And that's why this is my favorite strawberry. There is, there's plenty of sweetness 
and there's a lot of there's a lot of aroma and great flavor with this strawberry but it's also quite balanced so there's there's a little bit of acidity to it whereas some varieties are just overwhelmingly sweet and sweet's nice who doesn't who doesn't like sweet but you've got to have something else in there to get a really great tasting fruit and that that little bit of acidity that you get in this variety compared to say the Maling Centenary this one suits me I have a feeling that my wife would prefer the Maling Centenary it's a bit like with the tomatoes she loves the sun gold whereas it's just it's just a, a ball of sugar to me and and I much prefer a tomato with some some balance but she goes nuts for sun gold tomatoes and it's it's the only hybrid tomato I grow and I grow them for mainly for her because she loves to just pop down here and pick a few from the vine and have them as a snack and well that's great I mean if that's what she wants that's fine everybody's got different tastes but to my taste I prefer something with a little bit more balance so sure I want a sweet strawberry and there's there's no lack of sweetness with this fruit but it's also got it's also got um, plenty of aromatics and and a little bit of acidity that gives it balance it's absolutely delightful now a friend of ours also grows garagets in fact her her plants originally came from our old fruit cage so many years ago um, she makes strawberry jam with them I'm not a big fan of strawberry jam for whatever reason I prefer other fruits it's but that's irrelevant she assures me that they make fantastic jam and probably because of that little bit of bite to them that little hint of acidity that will work really well in a jam I mean if I I don't make too much jam now because more often than not we we only we, we use it infrequently and there's no point opening a jar of jam for just a couple of tablespoons what I often do though is make a quick jam for for sort of immediate use I take some berries out of the freezer add a little bit of sugar and there you go it doesn't take that long to make a quick jam stays in the fridge for a week or two and provides for our immediate need and very often if you're making that sort of jam you can add a squirt of lemon juice is very good it brings out the brings out the flavor of the fruit but if you've got fruit with a little bit of acidity in it then you don't need that and that would be why the Garraget also makes great jam I will not be turning these into jam my wife and I will be scoffing all of those later. But anyway, that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you a little look at how the garagets and the other strawberries are doing. And I am very happy with these two beds here. We'll probably keep them here for another two seasons, I would think, at least. And then possibly for the, for the next season, take runners off them if the plants are still vigorous and healthy or then replace the stock replacing the garagets might be a little bit tricky at that stage but i hope that we can keep these virus free for a little while anyway that is all for this video thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now